Good morning, everyone. It is finish the bedroom day. And you can hear the kids having an awesome time in this unexpected snowfall that's actually left some on the ground. It is perfect for making snowmen today. But before we get into today's shenanigans, I wanted to thank Babbel for sponsoring today's video. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world and its intuitive lessons help you learn a language through real life conversations. As you may know, Steve and I are avid travelers, and I've always prepared by learning a few phrases when visiting a country where English isn't the first language. It just makes traveling so much easier and more enjoyable when you can interact with locals. Babbel is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in three weeks. Lessons are designed by real language teachers, so you're getting meaningful conversations in a short learning time. Obviously, now we're in France, I want to be even more of a local myself. It's easy to fit in some practice over tea time using the app. Les adolescents. Les adolescents. Les ados. Les ados. Le mythomane. Les ados. Because Babbel teaches real world conversations, I've already started becoming more confident in having fuller and more fun discussions with the people we see regularly. Déjà, j'ai essayé le temps. Oui. J'ai essayé le temps ça, ils sont. Click the link to get 60% off your subscription with the 20 day money back guarantee and leave us a comment about what language you'll be learning. These are the faces of two mad women sewing. How are you doing, Laura? <laughs> exactly. We've both gone completely bad. Uh, right, so you are a trooper and you have mastered the invisible zipper. I would show everyone where it is, but they wouldn't be able to see it. <laughs> so you're just finishing the other sides of it, which is fabulous. I sense a moment of truth. Mm -hmm. Turning inside out. Let's do the corners. See, that's a beautiful thing right there. How gorgeous is that? I think I have pillows just over here. Let's get some, hold on. But now we'll never know how to open it again. <laughs> like we'll just never know. Like where is that zipper? Does anyone see a zipper? I don't see a zipper. <laughs> Let's stuff that bad boy, it's gorgeous. So, first pillow. Done. Do you feel good? Yeah. <laughs> Gain new skills, whether you wanted them or not? Absolutely. No, I wanted to learn. <laughs> yeah, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yay! Only 97 more to go. No, just kidding. <laughs> One more? Following on the magical success of the pillows. Working on tie backs for me. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, we're just doing little details. So we've got a little bit of trim to hold the, I can't think of words, ring on. There we are. Yeah. And just doing a quick finish. And they're a curved edge, straight edge on one side, curved edge on the other, so that it'll look kind of elegant. My small part in uh, helping with the uh, curtains for our bedroom um, is going to be cutting out a template for the pelmets. So Sarah came up or has found a design that she likes very much. And I've just put it onto a computer and printed out uh, a template. And now I'm going to try and cut it out of some MDF to make it a, a backer for Sarah to attach the fabric to. And then we will attach the whole thing to the box that's up there uh, right now. These are the two templates that I've done for the palmet. So this is half of a palmet. Um, there's a shorter one for the two windows uh, either side of the door. And the door itself is slightly larger. So there's one more template for that. And as I say, this is only half, so that'll be double the length of this, but you can see the curve that will be in there on the top, like that, and that will be duplicated on the other side. And then, of course, the fabric will be attached to that and uh, applied to the box that's above the doors. <laughs>
you got? What you got? All right. So I've cut the first one. This is the largest of the three. Yeah. What do you think? Oh yeah. I'm gonna make a good helmet. That's right. I can work with that. Yeah. And then we'll do more fancy stuff on the bottom. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so good. I think so too. Oh, you're up on the ladder. I am. All right, so. Oh, that looks perfect. That's about right. Yeah. And what's even better? Yeah. Uh, my measurements work out well. The box that's underneath there yeah. is actually exactly that height. Oh, yeah. So down to, to that point, which is the lowest point. Perfect. Okay. So you can mount that on and yeah. whatever you want to do below that yeah. will work great. Fantastic. I'm trying to do a design for the bottom that uh, has a little bit of detail that works out to be the same width as where the curtains will hang. So just sort of the main width. Um, that'll provide a little bit of detail on the bottom to go with the curve along the top. So I've got out some tools, I'm trying to do some math and hopefully this will work. I've decided to do a mock-up just to make sure that I like my pattern and how I'm gonna put it together because I am gonna use interfacing. And I just wanna say it's much nicer looking at this than looking at the um, snow that has started falling outside, which I do not approve of. So back to sewing. The mock-up was good. It also turned into a lining layer, which I think may be important for just visibility and getting sort of clarity of the color. So now I have to position this on the fabric in some sort of sensible way. Okay, I think I've got it. I created a center line and I've used that to put a center line through the design as well. So hopefully that will line up on one of the flowers, basically on that type of flower. And then I want to make sure the rest of it's straight. So I'm trying to line up details like these little flowers touching the top of the curve on this side and the top of the curve on this side and the top of the point. And with any luck at all, the top of the point over here. So hopefully I'm pretty straight. Might need to zhuzh this up just a little bit. But uh, then I'll trace it out and cut around. After much futzing about, we got the shape cut out. Got I used a narrow hem along the edge, which you can't see because you've chosen to do the interfacing, but I'm liking how the shape is coming out. So we'll just wrap that around the board and then hopefully we're done. As I trim off the last of it, I should probably explain that interfacing uh, helps reinforce and give fabric a little more structure so that it stays a little straighter, which is good for the pelmet. It just gives it, yeah, structure. And thus we bring in the glue gun. So I have just tacked the top edge when it was upright. Um, and now I'm going to peel these layers over and attach them quite tightly with the glue. And hopefully that'll be it. Final details, of course, we need to add a bit of bling and a bit of swag. So we've got the top panel done and then we'll add a bit more trim to make it a little bit fancier over the doors. Steve's last job of the day before he goes to work work. Yeah. <laughs> what are you using to attach? So we, we have some of this industrial strength. It's, it's almost like a Mac tacker, um, but it comes in a tape okay. form. And uh, we actually got it for a project um, that we did back in Canada. It actually held a roof down, so yeah. it should hopefully hold <laughs> this up against the, uh, um, the, the wood frame. Yeah. So I'm just going to do four strips along here, and then hopefully it will have enough holding power to be able to hold the thing up. All it's right. not terribly heavy, so we should be okay. No, it's very lightweight. Okay. You're way braver than me, that's for sure. All right, final sort of test fitting over top of the ruffle. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Oh, yes. I quite like that. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on, let me finish it first. Now. Okay. Oh, wow. Right? What a transformation. All that fancy work we did? Yeah, that was worth it. Totally. And yes, we will tuck in the sides. It's not gonna have like little flappy wings. <laughs> Didn't just kinda so. hanging out. <laughs> Final staples. Last one. 
Ta-da! Oh no, the little cord is sticking out. All right, we'll, we'll make a cover for that. Yeah. Hey, Dexie, what do you think about the glass jars? Should they go into the bedroom? Do you think so? Is that a good idea? Wag your tail if it's a good idea. Is it a good idea? You're not, yes, it's a good idea. Okay, what do you think? Um, I think the green one would match the decor better. Agree? Yes, maybe. A yeah, little tail wag, okay, we'll go with that, yeah. All right, let's get it cleaned up then. Are you gonna do the cleaning? Maybe no, okay. I think a bit of soap and water ought to do the trick. Oh, this is going to be very satisfying, I can tell. Oh yes, very satisfying indeed. Look at that. Just a lovely shape. It's got nice mottling. Mm. I mean, I wish I could get the little bits on the inside, but we'll figure out a way. I'm sure somebody has a good tip for me. One more task that we want to get done for the Chatelaine suite is to put these wonderful fashion prints into the frames that we got at MIUS last time we were there. So we took the old uh, pictures that, that were in the frames, made sure that everything is stable and cleaned them up a bit. And now I'm going to just put a bit of a mat around these and get them sealed back into the frames. There's the first print. Um, I've used a very light paper as opposed to uh, a mounting board or a, um, a matting board, simply because the frames aren't very thick. So just a simple piece of paper will work. So I'm using a really good quality um, fiber black paper. And I think that looks, works really nicely. Makes it nice and elegant. Two more to go. we have it. Three lovely ladies, all framed and matted, all matching with the brass frames or the gold frames. And I think we'll look really good in the room. Oh gosh, love that looks fantastic. Three lovely ladies, all framed. Oh, so shout out to our friend who sent us these prints. Yeah. Look that good. is gorgeous. Yeah, happy? Thanks to the MIUs frames. Yeah, exactly. What? Yeah, that's a gorgeous job. Thank that's you very much. Affordable, a nice affordable decoration. <laughs> yes, it is, and beautiful too. Yeah, that's great. I'll leave for a second and you've just, you know. Move things. Move giant pieces of furniture all by yourself. <laughs> so these came from downstairs and. Yeah, shifting yeah. things around a bit. I think it's starting to feel a little more comfortable in here. We're going to yeah. try and make this more of a seating area. Yeah, more of a vignette. And We're not then... sure whether it's one or two chairs at this point, right? Yeah, I, I tried the one and it just felt like it was too alone. It was too lonely? Yeah. Okay. Whereas I mean, that does feel pretty full right now. Well, yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> obviously that's not how it's going to stay. <laughs> so I'm thinking if this goes back into that corner yeah. and the two chairs either side of it, because it's a nice piece, we could put a, lamp, a light on top of it as well and get the light up a bit more. Nice, yeah. The only other thought is if this goes over there on that wall, so that that's sort of where the chest of drawers are. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. Yeah, I felt it, it is a bit, for yeah. traffic flow wise, it's a bit odd as well. Yeah, I'd rather try it in the corner where you are now, I think. Okay, well, yeah. let's try that. I love the painting you've chosen for in here. The greens and yellows echoing the outside. Be beautiful. Yeah. And the mirror is going to go there. Clear that off. Picked a table. Yeah, we can compare the 
Ontario wilderness <laughs> and French wilderness in the mornings. There you go. All right, final swagging. Sunshine streaming in. There you are. Well. Well, I'm impressed. Yeah. I think it looks amazing. I think we did Don't a great you? job. I am Have thrilled with it. I mean, what a transformation in here. Right. <laughs> it feels so much more regal now. Yeah. The way it should be for the Chatelain. Exactly. The yes. A yeah. few more details to put in, but uh, we're so close. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What a transformation. Yeah. Doesn't feel like the same room we woke up in this morning. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That's for sure. Is that victory on bed curtains I sense? It is. <laughs> well done. It's done. I have to say congratulations for struggling through on some very slippery material, which was giving the old girl uh, a heck of a time, shall we say, politely. Yep. Yep. But we managed. But you did. Look how pretty your curtains look. They look so good. We added a bit of the, the trim for the tie back to have it sort of match what's on the, the pelmet. I mean, that is some good work. It is. <laughs> <laughs> What yeah. do you think, Lev? Yeah, amazing. Does you sleep here? I, it's, it's, it's getting better. But yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be allowed. That's, <laughs> that's a trick. Is this still our room? Or? Yeah. I don't know. It might be too fancy for us. Do we have to go upstairs now, do we? Yeah. <laughs>